Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Source Wall, and we are taking a break from playing Gotham Knights right now to talk about the recently released Gotham Knights comic book called Gilded City uh, Part 1, and this actually has a digital code inside of it, which comes with, you know, a skin for the motorcycle inside the game, and the game itself I've actually been enjoying. I know there's been a lot of negative criticisms of the game, and I certainly have some criticisms as well, but Overall, I've been playing on the Xbox Series S, and I'm quite liking it, you know? It's uh, the storyline, at least, is what's locking me in. Uh, there is some, it, you know, kind of bad dialogue at times, but I understand why, and we'll get into that more when we talk about the games, uh, you know, because they're kind of trying to keep it loose, depending on what character you play as. Uh, so some of the dialogue doesn't feel personal at times, but uh, but overall, you know, besides that and some of the, you know, you know kind of like the 30 frames per second thing um, in the speed on the bikes, like, you know, just it just being like an, a thing that's you know, going by the screen where they have the white, like it makes it look like you're going fast, but you're really not. Um, and those have been messing with my head. Uh, the game says that it might give you seizures and it has a definitely affected me. So I can't seem to play it for more than an hour at a time, unfortunately. And then I start feeling weird and woozy. The other day I played for like two and a half hours and I had to turn it off. So uh, I need to take a break from the game and I figure, wait, hey, while I'm taking a break from the game, I still want to stay in the universe. So let's check out the comic book, which I got the Jim Lee variant cover, which is the wraparound cover, uh, which looks really, really good. It's got all the characters on there. I had to have this cover when I saw it. And like I said, it comes with a code inside for a skin for the motorcycle. And I guess every issue of this will come with a skin as well. And there's going to be about six issues of this series. So uh, this is set in the universe of Gotham Knights. I know a lot of people were thinking and hoping before the game came out that it was an extension of the Arkham universe, but it is not. It's its own thing. If you didn't already know that, I'm sure you already did though, but it's its own universe. So what we have here is a storyline where some new version of the fear toxin from Scarecrow has been released into Gotham, but Scarecrow is still locked up. So Batman doesn't understand why this is happening or who could be behind it. So he's looking for Scarecrow's henchmen and trying to figure it all out. And it's leading him to team up with Tim Drake, Robin, obviously, and Barbara Gordon, Batgirl. And also, you know, Red Hood, although he's trying to stay away from Red Hood right now because there's still bad blood between him and Batman. Um, and then also there's apparently some bad blood between Batman and Nightwing. But the artwork is really good. I really enjoy the style. Evan Narcissi, I believe, hopefully I'm not saying that wrong, is the writer of this book. And Abel is the artist. And, uh, and I think the art is really fantastic. I like the kind of the feel of it. I love the colors. The colors are really great because they're kind of muted, but they're bright at times. And then there's also these great sequences that cut back to like the late 1800s in Gotham uh, before it was like fully Gotham. And, uh, and you actually get to meet a, a hero from back then, specifically a hero for people who were slaves, who were now being free and given, you know, their freedom. He's kind of keeping an eye on them, making sure they can pass through Gotham safely. Um, and there's maybe a hint that they could be related or connected somehow to Lucius Fox. Um, so yeah, just a little neat backstory, something a little new, uh, but something that adds to this universe of Gotham Knights. Uh, so for those of you who are playing the game, and if you are liking at least the story, and you want to kind of see where else this universe you know, ha you know what else is in this universe, uh, this miniseries here looks like it's going to help fill some of that in and kind of give you a, a, a general sense of what this version of Gotham is, where it comes from, who's a part of its history, and why it's uh, become this city that Batman has been so adamant to protect over all these years. Of course, Batman's origins are very similar to, you know, what we know it as, but there are some new things that are being introduced into this as well, concept-wise. So yeah, I'm really digging it. And like I said, there's cool stuff in here with Robin and Batgirl, but then there's some hints at Red Hood and he'll be probably popping up in future issues. And then there's some uh, stuff with Nightwing that I don't want to get into and spoil for you. So if you're out there and you're a big fan of Gotham Knights um, or you're just a fan of the DC Universe or these characters in general, pick this up because, you know, in this game, as you know, Batman doesn't, things don't really work out for Batman. So uh, if you want to see a story with Batman set in this world, this is a good book to check out, and uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So if you have any, if you have your review, whether it's the game or the comic, whatever it is, let me know down below. And in future episodes, we'll definitely be getting more into the gameplay and playing more of the game itself. Um, and then previous episodes that are already posted, so if you want to go check those out, you can. And then every once in a while, when one of these issues come out, we'll take a break so that I don't, you know, have a seizure or don't have any health problems. We'll take a break and read the comic and talk about it. So uh, let me know again your thoughts down below, and we'll continue talking down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you beyond the source wall. Peace.